वेलकम टू आर चैनल लर्निंग फ्रॉम जोन आई एम योर होस्ट हर्षदा गेट रेडी टू स्टार्ट ऑन एक्साइटिंग लर्निंग एडवेंचर्स विथ अस इन टूडेज एपिसोड वी आर डाइविंग इन टू एन इनक्रेडिबल जर्नी ऑफ डिस्कवरी सो विदाउट फर्दर डू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Hey there future coders are you ready for a super cool adventure into the world of scratch it's a place where we can make awesome stuff happen with just a few clicks so today let's explore scratch get ready for some fun coding in this session we will discuss the basics of scratch interface and explore the different components of this workspace so Scratch is a programming language designed for beginners aged 8 to 16. Understanding the workspace is essential for building projects using Scratch. So, dive in and explore. Scratch interface has been designed with simplicity in mind. It's easy to navigate and follows a graphical approach to coding. The user-friendly interface makes the programming less intimidating and engaging for beginners and educators. All right, first things first. Let's get to know the Scratch playground. Like our secret coding clubhouse, and it's super easy to use. In our awesome coding clubhouse, we have stage where the pro our projects come to life like magic. Second is sprites. These are our pals, and we can make them do fun stuff. And blocks palette. Think of it like our toolbox filled with cool code blocks. And code area, where we put our secret codes to make things happen. The the area where you can edit and add your code. And costumes, like. Dressing up our sprites to look cool. It has the visual appearances of your sprites, in images, animation, character, sounds. So adding sounds to make our projects come alive. So first, first one is the sprites. As we discussed, these are our, our friends, whom we can use as actors and make fun stuff. You can create, upload, and choose from the sprite library. Sprites are displayed on the stage and react based on the code that we have programmed. And blocks palette. So as we discussed, it is just like a toolbox with filled with cool coding blocks. So let us go to Scratch. So here we have the Scratch screen. Here we can see this is the stage. where our projects come to life and these are the sprites different sprites we can use and this is the blocks palette so this is the toolbox from where we can use all this cool coding blocks so this is the motion so in general when we have to move our sprites we will use them so there are different types so there are different blocks here Like move ten steps, turn fifteen degrees, turn left, right, then change the x and y coordinates. So these are different. You can explore, and here is the looks. So you can add some conversation. You can change the costume, switch some backdrops, hide and show that particular sprites, and next one is sound. So you can. play different sounds which are already available so if you go on sound and click here you will see different sounds over here so these are all default sounds animal sounds that's funny so mostly you will get most of this animal sounds here effects So you can add all these sounds in your games and loops. Those so space-related sounds. 
ओट साउंड प्योरिंग साउंड तो दीज आर ऑल वेरी यूजफुल वेन यू आर एडिंग इन योर प्रोजेक्ट इट विल मेक योर कोड वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग योर प्रोजेक्ट वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्रीम तो गो हेड एंड एक्सप्लोर दिस मोर and alternatively you can also download your own sound and upload it here okay this is all about sound and the events is the one uh, when we click when when we start the project with the when the green flag is clicked so this is the most used one and there are other different uh, events when the sprite is clicked when the backdrop is changed when i receive some broadcast message and all these are in the events control is basically all the loops so if you want to wait for some seconds you want to repeat something you want to do some forever some some set of instructions we want to repeat forever you want if then if else wait until repeat until so all these loops are a part of this you can also add as a clone this is also a part of control and in sensing we will add some conditions like touching the pointer or touching the particular sprite or something related to touching and if something is pressed then we can use this condition and in operators we have a uh, different operators plus minus and multiply divide pick any random use less than addition so all these will be very useful when we are writing some logic so all these are some operators we will go in detail later but for now you can just uh, check what are the operators and in variables you can create a variable from here make a variable generally we add a variable for score in games and many other also you can add and if you click on this it will show up on the screen and if you remove the check check if you remove the tick mark you it will it it will vanish okay so or you can change it show it hide it and you can also create a block and reuse it so this is all basic so let's go back to the theory so this is the blocks palette which we set and the code area which we saw costumes uh, costumes are visual appearances of sprites you can draw import edit them in scratch workspace your sprites costumes can be changed depending on the action so if you want to make your sprite move then you will have to use two 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 to three sprites right so so now we have this default cat right right so if you go here you will see here two costumes so if we move these two costumes one after another we can make an animation of cat running so there are different sprites you can check in that so if you move this one check the costumes so you'll see four costumes so you can use many as many as costumes here and can also design your own costume all right next one sounds as we checked uh, we can add sounds and upload them and even even we can we can record our voice so we can see how to create a project so first we have to go to the scratch interface and we have to get started to the project so first thing we just have to go to the scratch website this is the scratch.mit.edu you have to log in and click on create so this will create a new project so i am in a new project then you have to name it and save it locally on your computer so this is the one i will make it as a demo and file save now so this is saved and once i have done uh, let us add something here add more ten steps event is and the green flag is 
this is our project and if you want we can share this now this project is shared so you can add the instructions of your game and you can share it to everyone in the community you can also explore different projects already available in scratch so here are different many projects which you can explore you can search anything here space so we will see all the space related projects let's say if we check on this one we will we can read all the instructions and you can remix this or you can see the code if you want for your understanding all this is available to you you can explore different projects and try to learn the logic that is used okay, let's go back This, we can do all this customization you can customize your sprites you can customize your page and uh, everything so we can check how to customize that so if we go here we can customize here you can if you want to col change the color a bit change it to pink change it so whatever if you want to change you can change over here so if you are good at drawing you can draw your own sprites as well it's all up to your creativity and all up to your imagination so do try it out the same way we can change the background as well we can customize the background as well so go back and try to customize the backdrop if i go here i want to write something here so that will be visible so anything if you want you can customize in this now generally for running a project we have to click on the green flag so this is the green flag and we can start the project we have already learned how to save and share the project and additional features are variables broadcasting and clones so let's see about that so here we have seen that we can create variables and in control we can try to create a clone so if we want we can create a clone in a nutshell scratch is where all the fun begins we have unlocked the secrets of the scratch clubhouse and all its cool features so are you excited to start your own coding journey with scratch scratch provides an engaging and fun way to introduce programming concepts to all the young learners we explored the different components and different features thanks for hanging out with us today if you had a blast don't forget to hit that like button and join our super cool coding crew just by subscribing get ready for some epic coding adventures with scratch see you next time bye bye coding champs